Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. Well, today we got a lot of stuff to do and some of this stuff I've got to get y'all's opinion on. Um, I just don't know what to do. Well, I do know what to do, but maybe there's something easier I can do. And then also we've got the issue with the turtles here in the pond and I don't, you know, we brought in several thousands of little bitty fish that we got out of the creek down there, and I really don't know how to actually take care of this turtle problem because we know we have two turtles in there that's at least 75 pounds, uh, 75 to 50 pounds. Um, Steph got a picture of one yesterday, and we're just, my hat was flopped up. We're just, we've got to do something before they take all the fish. And we know they will because we've seen they've ate them all before. They've ate, you know, three or four of them. But um, anyways, we're going to try to figure that out. Yep. And um, don't forget about Steph's channel, Life on the Eddie Family Farm. You want to tell them a little bit about yours? Uh, mine's basically the same, except I get more one-on-one -on -one with the animals and just get to sit out and just get to sit out and hang out with them a little bit more than I guess our main channel. Yeah, and uh, the kiddos are getting ready to go back to school. Yeah. Um, tomorrow they all go back. So it's just gonna be me and Steph on the farm so we can get a lot of stuff done. And um, also, today's video is gonna be sponsored by Toon Blast. And uh, we wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that here in just a little bit. But um, yeah, so let's head up here so we can try to get y'all's opinion what we should do um, and kind of go from there. And I know there's uh, people out there that just leaves the comments about the ads and stuff and videos. Well, here's the deal. If you was in our shoes, you would do the same thing. Just not our, our channel, all the other channels, because doing the sponsored videos allows us to do some of the extra stuff that we do here on the farm. Um, if you don't like it, just click by, pass it up or whatever, but don't leave no hateful comment because I've come to a conclusion, any hateful comments from here on out, you're getting the boot. I'm not going to, to listen to it because I enjoy reading the comments, but when I get some of the, a lot of bad comments, I just kind of change the momentum. But um, as y'all remember, we put this fence up here several months back and uh, we got this uh, horse fence here from uh, auction and we got it for pretty much half price. Well, we still have this remainder of the area from the corner pole here to back here to where the spillway is. We've got to put some fence up there. I just noticed that something's coming across right there. Something's making a pretty good trail right through there. Probably a raccoon or something. We we'll probably need to set a trap out over here. It's got fur on it. But my question is here on this fence is obviously we have horse fence on the other part, but to get a whole roll of that to finish that, you're talking about 400 bucks when I could actually just get some of that regular wiring put up, but it's not going to look good. So if y'all was in our position, what would y'all actually do here on the front? Um, because last year we did come through and burn all this and we'll burn it again. That's what made it easier to put up the fence. Mm -hmm. But what would y'all do in that predicament? because we got the goats locked up and this fence here will actually keep the ponies and uh, the llamas in. And but, Wilbur. And Wilbur. Um, but we'd eventually like to let them out so they can graze all this Johnson grass and stuff. And I think that might, they've never got out over here on this end. You wanna go ahead and shift that? They've never got out on this end, but it's just a matter of time until they find out hey, I can get out. And then once they learn, they're going to get out every single time. 
just like they did back here and then they come up and ate her neighbor's uh, plant. So we're going to try to get a stop to this before it gets any worse. Hop on up here. That's what you call a good gate opener right there. Gate closer. Gate closer, gate opener. Um, yeah, I guess, and then we're still working on the pond down here. Kind of show you that. But um, we haven't had any rain in a good while, which as you see, the pond is going down fairly, fairly quick now. Um, we are putting, stuff in the pond try i poured some uh supposed to be siller but obviously several bags of it was pretty expensive so i only got a couple and then uh, we've been putting some old sheetrock in the bottom of it people's told us that the sheetrock will actually fill in those holes fill in those holes but i just got to thinking right now is probably the time we need to burn that i need to walk over here and see I think right now is probably the time we need to burn that. I don't know if I can get to it from over here. It's a little soggy. That's why I decided to stay over here. Well, we're getting there. I just... I guess it's, I think the hose going to be over there in the middle. Uh, I think it's about time to throw some fire on that and get it up. What do you think, babe? I think so too. So, we may be starting a bonfire here in just a little while. But yeah, the, all the water comes in from that little spillway that we showed y'all a while ago. And it kind of trickles around here and back around. Um, before, in the past, um, if you're new to the channel, when we first come down here, this place was, you couldn't even walk out here. You couldn't even see through here, it's all grown up. But um, we put a lot of time and effort into it and making it look nice. Eventually, I'm gonna have some people come in and dump dirt over the side of this so we can cover all that up. Um, that's just leftover stuff that was here, just cement and just little things like that. It just takes time to hold this bag. Looks like casing or the kiddos have come down here with one of the hope or ropes. It just takes a little bit of time and uh I know every video isn't it got a bunch of excitement in it, but for the ones that actually watch our videos all the way through, thank y'all so much. We greatly appreciate it. Um, y'all have definitely changed our lives by allowing, watching the videos and allowing me to be home full time with the kids and taking care of the farm. It's absolutely amazing. And uh, I can't thank y'all enough. So we may go get a lighter and light that up real quick. Scared. Just because you're going the wrong way, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Look, Steph put some kind of little ball deal on here. Hey, it's a lot easier. Oh, it's a lot easier. A friend of mine got that for me. One of y'all subscribers. Can you tell me which one? We need to burn them mother brush piles, but I don't want to burn them until we get a little bit of rain. This over here won't be bad because got the pond. I got the pond right there. What about on the other side of the pond though? Will it go off that way? Yeah, I don't know. We may be, we may just wait off on that just till it rains. Because here's the deal, it'll take a lot of rain to actually bring it back up that far. What are you doing now? I am playing Tune Blast. Um, and I downloaded this about four days ago and started playing it and it is a pretty relaxing game which I enjoy um, in the evening time just kind of having time to myself um, 
and one thing I like about this is it's got pretty cool graphics. Um, so this game is actually uh, available on all devices. Um, you can download it and it has over 7,000 fun levels. You can compete against other players all around the world, which is cool, especially, I haven't actually joined a team yet. I'm just kind of learning as I go. But one good thing I like about this, there is actually, um, you don't have to have any Wi-Fi to play this, and um, you can play it on the road. There's no ads in it that's gonna disrupt the game. And it's pretty cool. If you like challenging games, this game here was really easy to learn. Anybody can, can learn this. And it just kind of helps you relax and just kind of let you escape uh, the world and uh, have some fun to yourself. So number 41, I've already made it up to 41. Let's see what this level's all about. Well, now we've moved up to rubber duck duckies. And also this, uh, this game actually has millions of reviews and high ratings with the um, App Store and Google Play. So you can go check out the ratings and stuff yourself. I mean, check out these graphics. This is, this is awesome. Look at this, guys. That's awesome. But um, anyways, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box, and then I will also leave a link in the comment box. If you download this uh, this game using the link in my description or comment box, uh, you will get three hours of free life, and you'll also get 100 coins to go with that. And last but not least, there are many fun and challenging mini games you can play to claim rewards. Overall, this game is absolutely awesome, guys. If you do download it, hey, leave me a comment down in the comment box. Let me know what you think about the game because I know one thing, I really enjoy it. So I hope each and every one of y'all enjoy the rest of the video. Well, we got all the new goats over here in their area. We showed that the other day on the live. Let's go over here and see. I made a little gate entrance down. I made a little gate entrance down here. I'll put some longer wire. What are you doing, buddy? Huh? What are you doing? Are you ready to go to your new home? Huh? You're fixing to go to Kansas. Oh no, that's the boy. That's the boy. That's the boy, huh? That's the boy. Yeah. We still have not got a home for him yet. Oh no, because he just loves it here. Oh, you just love it here. He's precious. Like with the other goats over there, um, Carly's over there in that pen, and I want to put Dixie over here, and then we'll leave Toby running out here freely. That way there's a dog in each pen, and nothing, hopefully nothing crazy happens. <laughs> We're going to go down here and see where the goats are at and kind of show you what it looks like, just in case you didn't get to catch all the videos, um, what we actually did. Um, it's pretty awesome. It took us a few days, but... Here's the deal. We just we're not going to take a chance of overdoing it. So, but that was the weird thing the whole time is we had there is so much underbrush they could be eating here, and by learning from my friends and uh, just watching uh, Kevin and uh, other people that's got goats, goats will eat what they want to eat until you make them eat what's there. And that's kind of what we're doing now, which this is, um, you know, we started down there. We connected to that uh, that other pen over there. And there they are down there. Okay, there they are. Y'all see them? I wonder if, did you get any of that deer grass? That grass for the deer kind of over this side? Yeah. I was going to say they might be eating that. Anyways, um, just going through some of the comments, there were uh, some people said that, you know, they was worried about me putting my fence here because the other people would take over the property or something like that. No, that's the reason why I left the fence there. That way, that is the main fence, and obviously you can tell this isn't a permanent fence. That's the permanent fence. You can tell this is where we planted all that stuff. 
Cinderella's right up there in the middle. She thinks she's queen of the mountain. I don't see anywhere of them trying to get out. She's sitting there eating them vines. Look at her. What are you doing, Cinderella? What you doing, girl? Huh? Oh, she, she, she just snubbed me. Back Cinderella. there. Cinderella. Cinderella. That's what I mean. They have, they had all of this, and they just had to go up there. But we needed to do this. It just kind of forced us to do a little bit faster than what we wanted. <clears throat> but um, anyways, that's kind of what's been going on. We're getting ready to go up here and start tearing down that chicken coop. And we're going to uh, trade it. Hopefully, we're going to trade it for the um, coop where the splashes are because I love the splashes. They're beautiful birds. But that was another thing was um, people was like, well, just clear it out and just put a new fence through there. Well, here's the deal. What are you looking at? Big old beehive. Oh, here's the deal. It was like, I love this under, I mean, look at all this shade through here. This is, this is amazing. I mean, it's just beautiful. All right, guys, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and get the bannies here and we're going to get those out and we'll put them in this end pen and the silkies that are over here, we're going to put them right here because we're going to start building the new chicken pen and I'm going to start taking some of the stuff off of that so we can use it um, besides letting it go to waste. So. <laughs> All right, Bubba, you ready? Yeah. And then I'll come in from the back side, okay? You thought you were scared of them. Let's see them real quick. <laughs> They're a little healthy. They're healthy little dudes. Yeah. Yep, say hi. So I can move another one in. Yeah. So I'm going to open this up. Ready? Don't All let right. her out. Don't let her out. Go ahead and put it. put her in there. See, she tried to get out. So we got to go get some water for them now. Control is if for some reason we was on the other side of the property and I needed water on, all I got to do, I can actually turn it on with my phone. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'll do. Push that button. Cowboy needs a drink. He got water everywhere. You didn't tighten that all the way. Huh? Yeah, it is. No. I will want to sit down. Back up, guys. Getting orders. All right, Kaysen's getting that water, and uh, we're going to run over here and get to the silkies, and then we'll bring them over here, and then we'll get started. You got the water, Bubba? He doesn't have the water bowl, though. The water. Air gets in the water, and that's what turns it white like that. But their, their water is on the back side, son. But we'll put this there. Hey, ask me the chicken feed. I'm saying. Let me, uh, let me try to get this screw out of here real quick. Well, maybe it'll go back in the same place. All right, let's run over here and get the silkies now. I've already come over here and backed all this away. I've took some stuff down already. This pen is just, just old and beat up. The bottom of it's uh, ate out, as you can see down here. 
the bottom of it's ate out. Um, and then so, this one is made out too. Yeah. Kinda. But one thing, we are going to try to reuse this nesting box. So we're going to try to use the nesting box on the other ones. So, um, son, let's, um, how we want to do this? I'm going there. I know how to do it. I, me and right. Bradley been in there. All right, go right ahead. Hey, get, get that one. <laughs> Boom. We'll either let them come out or make them One out! Alright, hand me that one. I want one. This is a rooster? No. No, the rooster. Lighten the gun. Oh. Alright. Rooster! Let's go put these up and then we can get that rooster. These are pretty little birds, though. Yeah. yeah. They're real pretty birds. Uh, kind of a mixed with a white bye -bye. and a splash. Two, two, Hold on. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm putting them in with the bennies. No, the bennies ain't in there no more. I guess Wilbur thinks this is going to be his new house. Wilbur? You think you're going to live in there? Huh? Hey! Alright. Got him. Your brother got him. <laughs> Let's see. Good job. This is the rooster tomb. We. Which we did hatch out several little bitty um, um, what are these? Silkies. Blue silkies. But I think we're going to give these to our neighbors down the road. Uh, Robin and her kids. Um, Just like that, they're all in their pens. So we're gonna get over here and get started now. Sorry, fire. No, we ain't starting no fire. All right. I uh, do. Like I say, I built this for the dogs, oh. but it didn't work out too well. I didn't know how to actually do it. Wait. Wait, this. You're good. You're good. Put it oh. right here. You gotta put some weight on the back of it here. Oh. Push on it like this. Oh, love it. Yeah, push on it. All right. There you go. The next one. About it. Wait. Oh, there it is. All right, now push it. Push it hard. There you go. Yep, build your own house. You can do anything you set your mind to. The main thing is you don't let, don't let, don't think. Don't worry about what other people think because that's one thing about this is, yeah, it would be a lot easier to uh, build these with new wood, but if we get the wood for free, why, why would we want to, to do that. When we're done building this, um, um, we, I'm gonna probably go build me a house. You gonna go build a house? Yeah, after this time. Uh. They're, they're crooked, so just bear with me here. Bear with me. They're crooked, y'all boys. 
Everything you eat in life, everything you None eat is going to get new. won't be crooked. Well, let me get this in first, okay? Just know everything in life ain't always going to come new. Sometimes you have to use... Sometimes you have to use used stuff. Oh, you got that one then? But just because it don't it look as flashy doesn't mean anything we'll other it. than... The main the main focus of this right here is to keep the chickens in the in the chicken coop and make sure they stay safe and those and those pens have kept those chickens safe. So. All right, guys, it's getting there slowly but surely. Um, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna go much farther on this today because uh, I'm getting ready to um, get all the animals fed and uh, we're getting ready to go cook dinner. So um, we're probably pretty much gonna wrap that up um, for, to, for on this project. Don't, don't, the video's still gonna go, so don't click off the video, especially if you love we really enjoy spending time with the animals. And so amazing just to sit there and, and, and just pet the animals and just enjoy. And I know I enjoy it and I know they enjoy it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go uh, get something to drink and then we'll come back out and we'll go get some feed. Oh, Wilbur likes this water. Uh, you like that, Wilbur? <laughs> Does that feel good? He's like, it sure does. Does that feel good, Wilbur? Uh, does that feel good? Cracks me up how you're sitting. Yeah. I don't want you to make this a mud bath here. But. We gotta get some more waterers, that's for sure. Uh, the girls found that. Bradley and Addison? Yeah. The girls found oh, that. Oh, I thought you were talking about the puppies because Leighton told me the puppies brought it up. The girls found it because probably the puppies brought it up. Looks like a cow head. Yeah, or a duck. That ain't no duck. You goober. Um, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and yeah. feed the goats and... Um, all that good. I showed them that. Yeah, go ahead. In my house. How about done? What is it? Our house. Your house? Yeah. I'm about, I'm my All right, show me, show me every room and everything. This is my bedroom. Right here. Your That's bedroom? your bedroom? Yeah. Okay. And then this is probably my bedroom. All this is my bedroom. All of, okay, okay. Where? Where I can be by myself. Where, where's your kitchen? I don't need kitchen. Why not? Because we got a kitchen. Yeah, we got a kitchen. He's, he's he wanting to build him a house here to protect his chickens. Huh? Mm -hmm. Might have to make him a clubhouse. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. already done. About done. Oh, you got a long ways to go, Bubba. I, I think he's thinking tent, uh, like a tent. Mm. Maybe he needs to go. Need to get you, do we need to get you a tent and put out here? That's like a house and get you a tent and put up a blow up mattress. Oh yeah, they have nice tents now that yeah. are look really like a yeah. house. So, anyways, 
Uh, we're gonna get up here and feed real quick. Get in here and get a little bit of food. Here, look, Wilbur. The, yeah, I'm just going to use them all. They're, they're eating them just fine. Yeah. All right, guys, back up. You don't want some feed, you better move. You better move it or lose it. I'm gonna have to come up with some new feeders, but I think I have. Huh? Y'all want a treat? I could say is we only got a few more bags of this big, these big cubes, um, and I could, I mean, if it wasn't such a hassle, we'd load it all back up and take it and turn it in. But I'm not going to worry about it. We're having to, we're feeding a bag, about a bag and a half a day, so probably another two or three days, and that we'll have to get some more anyways. Anyways, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for today. Do not forget to go down, click the link down in the description box, and download Toon Blast, and go have some fun with it. I absolutely enjoy it. That's just something we do when we're just trying to kill time and relax. So, anyways, y'all have a wonderful day. God bless.